That's not what I'm okay, saying. then give me the circumstance where I can defend the property. I don't know. You, you can defend your property however you want to defend your property. I'm saying if you go with the intent as a 17-year-old with an assault rifle and you're expecting, oh, if these rioters come at this building, I'm going to be able to de-escalate this situation because realistically you have to account for the poss possibility of a situation happening when you enter that situation and you're then confident that you're going to be able to de-escalate that situation. You're wrong because you're a 17-year-old with an assault rifle. You're not likely to be able to properly deal with that situation. There Therefore, you're more likely to cause harm than good. No, it's that, that's no, all the, that's you, what I'm no, saying. Therefore, that's not how likelihood works. You literally don't yeah, know how probability. Everyone's saying so. It's not no, only no, no, a problem. No, hold on, hold on. Do you, so let me tell you how probability. Let me, let, me tell you, let, me, let me tell you how probabilities work. You're not talking about this exact situation because he actually handled this exact situation phenomenally well. I highly recommend you look at the footage again. The uh, the trigger discipline this is that the he problem. employed you keep talking was about the incredibly the well. The situation. I'm no, talking about the intention of going there to begin with. No. Just I'm a sec. Stop. 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 Let me speak for one fucking second. Let me speak for one goddamn minute. Okay? You you love ranting. Okay? So just to see, right right before I started I that would. sentence, you had you had made the claim about why he was there specifically and what he had done specifically. You said I was talking about the reality, and so I I interjected with the reality. But even still, him going in there and still. Because you're using probability wrong. You say you're he's more likely to do harm than good. He's more likely to do harm than good. I agree that he's inexperienced, untrained, and how to do these things. He's more likely to do harm and good in an incredibly unlikely scenario. Okay? That's like saying, like, and I don't disagree that, like, he probably shouldn't have uh, engaged in that kind of activity and reserved it for people that are more well-trained. He probably shouldn't have done this. However, I do not disagree morally with his decision to do so. And the reason why is because nobody else is going to protect this property if uh, uh, than the, the people that actively go out there and do it. You're talking about like having other people do this and all this alternatives. Well, none of these people would meet this criteria to be able to do so. Unless I want to ha hear you hash out the criteria. How many hours on the shooting range do I need to have before I'm trained? Or is it only police officers that are trained to be able to do this? Well, I think How, what should age should I have to do this? No, well, no, I think realistically it should we, only be police officers. And we know that's not realistic. So what you're no, effectively saying... No, I know that that's saying, not realistic. So then, but I'm so saying then that, give me the I'm saying that you're saying it like thing. it's a slippery slope when I'm not it's saying not it like it's... It, no, because you're saying that then, oh, what, what's the exact criteria? I'm saying this man had no credentials, zero. Yeah. I, I understand so I'm, I'm that asking then you can say does? what credentials make it acceptable. Yes. But I'm saying specifically, clearly, this situation. Okay, what credentials, his credentials make, it make it acceptable? acceptable? What credentials make it acceptable? Well, realistically, I think it should only be police officers. No, okay, but I'm so saying then that... what you're saying is ineffective. Nobody but cops have the right to be able to defend their property. No, I think there's much more nuance to each situation, <laughs> okay, then give though. me the nuance. Give me the I'm nuance. There's a different situation. I, provide me with an example of someone in a different situation that has a certain level of training you, in no, something. You, you are and making it makes a it, statement. It makes it more acceptable in a certain way. It doesn't necessarily... It's more nuanced than right or wrong. It's, it makes it more... It's more nuanced than police officer or non-police officer. It's a guy with who's 17 who's expecting that he's going to come into this situation and defend property is is what's as being claimed as a deterrent and, and, generally and speaking right. yeah we as just, a deterrent just, this, is, uh, this is just going in circles i think no it's it's absolutely give me the criteria that makes it acceptable for me to defend my property go you're defending your property, yeah. If you're at your own property and you're not specifically okay, going say, to a say, protest oh, area that's yeah, emotionally let's say, charged, let's, let's say a protest expecting... area emotionally charged. I I don't see a difference, but go ahead. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, go people ahead. People enter your property. You can then defend. Your no, no, property. no. Okay. So then, what if, so then, if people were to enter the property that Kyle Rittenhouse was defending, he could then use uh, lethal force. Was he chased? Um, like, was he chased from being inside a property? No. Like, it, I, I think that realistically, you're standing Wait, you're, there... Okay, so are we talking about the reality or are we talking about not the reality? What are we talking about here? Because the reality of the fact is he was he was verbally uh, threatened and then uh, um, feared for his life panicked. as a result of that individual... And panicked, yeah. No, no, and not, panicked not panic. because he wasn't trained to be in that no, situation No, not panic. Well. Somebody was charging him. What do you mean, panic? Yeah, no, no. He got charged and, like... Wait, uh, what was he supposed to do? Just hand no, no, no. I agree. The gun? No, no. In that situation, there's not not much else that he could do. By the time that he was in the situation that he was in, I agree. But I'm saying him entering into that situation. And that's what I'm asking culpable. you for. 
Why, what gives me the ability to defend my property during these protests? What gives me that ability? Let's say my business, I'm a small business owner. I own a business in uh, Minneapolis, and there's a lot of uh, riots going on in the area. What gives me the ability to go outside with a gun and defend my property? What, what gives you the ability to yes. go out and defend his property? Well, he wasn't defending his property. It was the whole community thing again that we're talking okay, about anyway. So what, where so, he felt yeah. like he had to go somewhere. You believe that to be a justifiable thing to yeah, do. I, I don't see why not. Yeah, I don't. Okay, thing to so do. why not? So therefore, why not? We're, we're just at crossroads. No, because we're not I don't at crossroads. Believe... You keep trying to snake around it. No, Give me your reasons. Cross... No, no, Give no, me no, your we're reasons. at crossroads because you can't fundamentally believe that I would understand everything that you're saying and still disagree with no, you. I respect shut... your opinion. You... Okay, you I have respect yet, your you have opinion, yet, but you have I disagree yet to with describe it. To me. You have yet to describe to me why it is unjustified for him to be able to protect somebody else's property with lethal intent. You kept, you keep, or Sorry, with uh, a well, lethal because weapon. Because I fundamentally but... don't believe that should why? be something you could do. Why? Just because you why? can't... Why? Why? You why? Can't... Why? Because that's legally not a thing in my country either. In that's, my culture, that's not You're making not a thing. an appeal to the law. Oh, the reason I don't believe you should be able to do this is because it's illegal in my country. That's not a actual line of thinking. No, no, that's no, reasonable. That is a, no, that is an actual argument because I'm saying culturally it's not acceptable here. Culturally it is acceptable okay, so where you on. are. What you're telling Obviously me is if slavery disagree. was legal inside of your country, you'd be down for oh it? Oh my Shut God. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, that's the actually same, isn't me it? An ar actually give me an that's argument. That's the same, isn't it? Stop, why, stop why, appealing why to can politicians. You not, give me an actual argument. Why can you not... Why can you not acknowledge that I just fundamentally disagree with defending property in that no, way? No, no, you gotta give me why a reason. Why can't I fundamentally give me a disagree reason. with that? Give me a reason because why I you fundamentally disagree that you should be able to kill someone over property. Why? why? That's why I disagree. Why? Because I don't think human life is more valuable. Okay, I don't think so someone then, should die. So then, so then, even hold on, hold on. Still, so then, please. if I am a small business owner. And it is my my shop is my livelihood, and people break in. Let's say I'm in a fucking wheelchair. I have no ability to be able to stop these people outside of a gun, and they steal all of my stuff. I have to sit there and watch it. That's what you're saying, yes or no? You have to sit there and watch it. I yeah, have to sit I there and watch it. You should be involved. I don't think you should get involved because I think you're more likely to end up okay. dead or harmed in the situation. So okay. I don't think that your life or people's life's lives being lost is worthy of defending your property. I think, unfortunately, the systems aren't in place to protect people in that way after after the fact of this happening. And I think that that's unfortunate, but that doesn't then justify... I'm I don't sorry, know, can, uh, I, can I ask your background? Are you like, are you, did you come from like an incredibly affluent bra background? Like where like you don't have to deal with small business owners that are literally working paycheck to paycheck or people that are actively no, going actually, to like dad, CBS, uh, my dad CBS back backgrounds uh, or whatever. I was born in Kenya with nothing and he came to the UK um, on his own. And Yeah, what's his job? I, what, what's my dad's job? Yeah, what's I don't your really dad's feel job? comfortable disclosing too much uh, oh, about my life. Okay. I, I'm, right. I'm, an, a, I'm so relatively whatever, middle so, class. So whatever, I'm relatively middle class. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So your job or whatever job you have, if somebody came in and made it so that way you can no longer work at that job, don't you think it would be kind of bad for the local community if people just kept robbing and stealing your stuff or stealing, uh, sorry, excuse me, stuff from businesses, even large companies that it's like, the are being able to... This is like a widespread is, is the thing as well. Because it is. it's the Don't, reality. It, yeah, but the reality of the situation is you're saying you want just both the yours. protection and also uh, also the defense, right? You think that you should be doing both. Uh, and uh, the, the, not the, you want like the gut to petition the government and whatever and also defend, be able to defend your property. I think um, I disagree with the defending of the property in that way anyway, because I think that if you're not a trained, uh, i.e. a police officer or whatever and i think that's where the cultural thing is exactly applicable so, hold on. You, you no 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 you made the argument of slavery like that was at all the same argument it was, it's the, the reason why it was the the reason why i made that argument is because you said because it's illegal in my country i'm uh, well, obviously going to agree with I was you so it's that's, illegal that's just the dumbest, culturally sorry, that's just we the have dumbest an entirely thing different you have no, to justify it's not dumb. you it's have not to justify dumb, everything it's not when dumb. it comes to this it's not it dumb though 
I'm this trying to explain point. to you why it isn't dumb. Because the point is, you believe, I respect your opinion on that. Culturally, we do not believe that that's a thing that you should do. So I'm saying that's why, just because you believe that doesn't mean that your culture is entirely no, right. I your never, opinions and of, what I'm trying to situation. do is I'm trying to explore why it is a superior position to be able to, with lethal force, be able to stop somebody from entering your home. But you can't acknowledge your, that, because uh, I acknowledge that you could, um, come to your conclusion through understanding all the breadth of the situation but you cannot acknowledge that i can come to my conclusion knowing no uh, also I'm, the same no, things as you, you are being, you you are being obtuse you're, you're, right now what i'm saying you, what i'm saying is what i know i'm exploring because i don't believe you have fully thought out the ramifications yet we haven't explored it yet you have refused to engage in so many hypotheticals exactly I, and, and i'm just not exactly no, you, you think you, that i couldn't have fully explored no, the ramifications I'm not, to, i don't my believe own that opinion. you couldn't you just haven't you've been trying to dodge me this entire time so let me continue to explore these hypotheticals so you've already stated that if i am somebody in a wheelchair that has no physical ability to stop these teenagers from stealing literally my livelihood making me literally have to file for chapter 7 bank or chapter 13 bankruptcy and like completely go entirely a uh, full restart on capitalism here and have no money whatsoever and be indebted for the rest of my life right i have to do that just because i can't pick up a gun and be able to uh, stop them or deter them even with legal lethal intent right you said that you've you made that claim have you not that i cannot protect my property even yeah, if i'm I a poor destitute individual well, I, well, I don't think it's, that it's not about be able to because realistically it's the ability to protect your property is irrelevant i think that for your own safety and for the safety of everyone in the situation you shouldn't be engaged you're stealing in protecting my livelihood your I'm, with I'm lethal not safe. like if they take all of that shit i have to file for bankruptcy i default yes. on all of my fucking yes. loans and if something goes wrong in that situation you are dead and then what your family are or, also fucked wait no if and something goes nothing. if if something yeah, goes wrong in that situation and then it, you have, have nothing there's a lot well, of people uh, that don't... there's a lot of people that view that as a lose lose or, or, or that view that as um a worthwhile trade because it, there's the chance that these people that are committing a morally egregious action by stealing from a small business owner or a business owner at all complete a stealing from this individual right is is actively infringing on your rights your ability to have your own property property and to be able to uh you know uh um you know secure a future for yourself right that it might be justified that i'm literally defending my livelihood the thing that i need to be able to eat and sleep in shelter i should be able to defend it if i am otherwise not able and what you're saying is no you shouldn't be morally allowed to do that so i want to hear that yeah. if a story comes out if it's not about it being morally I, I do, uh, allowed to. It's I'm... about the no. I, I, because I, what I keep referring to is understanding when you're entering that situation the risks of entering that situation so what i'm saying is it's not worthwhile to enter into that situation with the risk of for for example uh, like i'm I talking don't think about any of i'm not i'm talking about morality okay that's what i'm talking is somebody would you morally impugn somebody that's what we're talking because you said earlier i wouldn't you do morally not, you impugn not... someone but i think it's more correct no, okay more so then you are hold on because... then, no 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 if because we were talking about morality this whole time so uh, when but, earlier yeah. you said said that you no, no when you said it, earlier that you morally that we can not morally defend property with the threat of lethal force then you are lying i can defend my property morally with lethal force if i'm in a wheelchair and oh, i have no is, other recourse and i'm poor is that what you're is, saying this is the difficulty of it being case by case though is is what i'm trying to say is it, it, the difficulty of um the morality of the situation is directly relevant to the humanity of the situation as well of course i i completely understand the reasoning that's behind why defending I, I, your property. I only guess what all i care about is morality here so and i'm asking you the moral statement yeah, but if, I can on, understand. If, if you're stating that the morality has to do with the humanity you can deal with whatever fucking voodoo shit you want to deal with i'm talking about morality okay and yes, then when I'm i talking... ask you when i ask you is it more am i morally allowed to be able to defend my personal property with a firearm with the chance of it going to uh, a lethal action and you say no 
and I give you an example of a guy in a wheelchair who is actively having his livelihood stolen out from under him because he's poor and destitute, right? And then I say, is he morally wrong if he shoots these people for actively destroying his livelihood? And you say no. Well, it sounds like I can morally defend my uh, property what, what with a I'm firearm. What I'm trying to say is what is the relevance of the morality to the situation in the same way as we would say you should run away from active from an active shooter i i think that you shouldn't engage in that situation for the same reasoning you shouldn't engage in that situation and for the same reasoning i understand why you engage in that situation for the same reasoning as them chasing after him i understand the same reasoning of the guy defending his own property in a wheelchair and whatever i understand it i still think you shouldn't do it so, uh, so it doesn't it, mean on, that is it, are we going to backtrack again is it morally wrong or is it not morally wrong yes sir is it morally wrong to I, be able to defend I, my I property said it's if more I'm in a wheelchair? Well, this is the problem with the, these sort of discussions you want a yes or no all the time and if there's no not a yes or no. You're like, ha ha, got him. Fucking owned, you fucking what, what idiot. What are you trying what to make it appeal is, to? I'm, I'm saying is it's whether you find it to be morally wrong or morally right. It's not like like you just. Oh well, you know what? what? It, it, you were really quick to be black able to. And white. It's not black and white. Is the point that I'm saying? I do, I I. Struggle what, what with makes, the what, of that situation because I think what that makes it's complex. It, what, what makes it even close to not moral? What makes it close to mo not moral? Well, yeah, what is, even makes it a moral the, gray area? Okay, where, where we can run around in circles about this again is the point that you said of most people deterred by guns are just out looking to have a good time. They're not coming out with evil intentions, blah, blah, yeah, blah. That's, going, I genuinely believe that's most of riders. Yes, so then I would say someone 99% of the time robbing your property doesn't deserve to die is the, is the point that I'm saying. It, that's that's where we're getting out of fucking crossroads because it's the same logic. It's the point that I don't think most people going to steal property are morally wrong, like evil people. Th so, therefore, hold on. You have to deal with the reality. I am a person in a wheelchair with a gun. Okay, I can't and these people I would oh well geez I, I really would hope that these people don't deserve to die. I really don't think they deserve to die, but I have no means of being able to stop them without lethal force am oh, i okay morally, what, what is this am, is, conversation is it, I, in relation to though because i think this that this is, person on, shouldn't this have is, any legal action and i also understand their actions i don't know how i feel morally more, about it oh my i understand God. about their actions okay i understand so what, what, what do you I'm want saying, me to say so this is what they i said this action. is what i said earlier when i was talking where about where does this how, link jesus christ let me speak this is what i was talking about earlier you, when i was talking same as me. are we gonna keep are we gonna keep we're gonna keep going all right this is what i was talking come on accept that let me know when you're done are you done? Yeah, sorry. Okay, sorry. all right. Go ahead. All right, so uh, morally speaking, morally speaking, you said earlier you cannot use lethal force to be able to defend property. And I said I'm about 80% sure I'm going to be able to, to get you on that or... You are going to live in a world where in which it's like vastly worse than what we live in right now. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to explore with you why having the ability to be able to stop a somebody from stealing your shit, le or, sorry, morally, with a lethal force should be an okay thing to do. Obviously, you should try and de-escalate the situation prior. However, being able to use lethal force on somebody that is infringing on your personal uh, uh, property and stealing away your livelihood is absolutely something that you can do, right? But, but then so, I would say morally it's a case-by-case -case basis still, though, is what I'm trying to say. That's what I always said the whole time was that each situation is going to be case-by-case -case of whether no, something's morally that, acceptable. You, you said that which it's is wrong. Which is why I you think that, that you the default that should wrong. be wrong. Which is why I think the default is, is wrong. Well, because let's not I think talk that about, you should... So then let's not talk about defaults. Let's talk about on the case-by-case -case basis then, right? So I've given you examples of how... Uh, um, protecting the property, your property with your life can be morally good because other or with uh, lethal um, uh, possible uh, uh, lethal action. And the reason why is because it's your livelihood, right? It is your livelihood. It's the thing that you've spent time building and shit like that. And if somebody is going to break the social contract and say, fuck it, I don't care about your livelihood. I'm going to take it from you by force. Then you should have the availability to be able to lethally stop that oh. individual. And if okay, but and, what? Go ahead. Go on. No, but what does it mean for this to be morally wrong? Is what I'm trying to what ask. What it means you. to be morally because, like, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I thought you were done. Because um, I don't really understand why that's relevant to 
the um the overall question like i don't understand the relevance of that in, in I, because, because i guess yep. i said that it's morally yep. wrong because you're never always. because we can never i can never convince you that kyle rittenhouse didn't go there for an unjustified reason and whatever and apparently you don't accept the the argument that if he went there for an unjust even if he went there to like as a as to be able to support the alt-right and support the clan it wouldn't matter he does it doesn't forego his right to self-defense so i don't think it's morally impeachable no no you no i agree that, though we agree on, on yeah, we yeah, agree sure, on the sure, whole sure, sure. killing on. yeah aspect. yeah sure sure hold on However, like you seem to be caught up on this idea that it is immoral for people to be able to defend property with lethal intent. That is an immoral thing to do. And so I can never convince you that going to a place to be able to defend property is an okay thing to do without giving you real world exa examples of why it would be okay to do. Why, it, like, of the alternative, if it is not okay to do, it would result in me being able to walk up to any paralyzed person, kick in, kick in their door, take all of their shit, and run away. That's what it allow it would allow me but to do I, because they're not I'm allowed saying, to do anything. But I, but I don't understand the relevance of. I'm talking about the um, how that's different to the Kyle Rittenhouse situation though. I, no, I think the that that's so more the, understandable. The issue, I think the, that, that you could say then... that you you could say that you misspoke, but earlier you said that it is well, quote wrong I, I to defend misspoke. personal or private property with lethal intent. Oh wrong you can... wrong. I think that it shouldn't be legal uh entirely. Uh, I think that there's obviously so going it should be case wrong, by when case. I'm, when I'm referring to wrong and yeah, right, no, I'm referring moral to moral, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. And then you you um, said it was morally wrong to be able to defend private property with lethal intent. That's what you said. And in order to be able to convince you that that isn't a wrong thing to do, I'm going to have to run through other arguments. And then once you've established well, that in certain would circumstances say, it can be it, it can be right, then we can build our way up. That's what but, the okay, argument is about. Okay, okay, then we we can say that um in that situation morally it's understandable and perhaps even right uh but then i would say that we then take the point of de-escalating slash removing yourself from the majority of these situations when you're where, for example if it's not in as tough of a situation would you say that then um because you're talking about specifically an extreme example of a man in a wheelchair who his whole livelihood is this shop and he um that's how you usually going do to lose everything you start yeah you he's start going to lose everything point. yep um but then you also are of the opinion that the majority of the time you should de-escalate the situation so if it's not as, well, I, th I think you have a moral extreme, obligation to de-escalate so the situation if you then if it's then not as extreme of a situation do you think that it's still it's still morally right then in your opinion that to be able to if, use lethal force yeah. Is what you're yeah, I think it could be, yeah, 100%. Let's say yeah, I am so a, a perfectly that, able-bodied person, right? Let's say a woman comes into my store, right? I'm a perfectly able-bodied, let's say I'm like a 6'6 man built like a fucking fridge, all right? Some woman breaks into my store, starts stealing my shit. I, I have a responsibility to de-escalate by telling her to get the fuck out of the store. I have a gun, right, or what have you, right? I think I have, well, to some degree. In certain circumstances, you could have a reasonable fear for your life that you may not um, uh, uh, feel like you can uh, reasonably warn the person let's say if they have a gun if they have a gun and they've broken into your house i'm sorry it's I, I don't think that people have to give you a warning at that point you broke into somebody's fucking house and you have a gun all right there's like no i agree they're... if you have sir, a gun if sir. someone else has a gun that's reasonable or is your, yeah or some like some stuff. other kind of lethal weapon and you're within a close yeah, yeah, range or yeah, whatever that's sure reasonable, but, that's but like generally speaking if it's some like if it's some person that i believe reasonably i'd be able to is they be able to physically subdue and they uh you know the individual has a gun they say get the fuck out of the store have a gun get the fuck out right they they have that responsibility and yeah, if they do so not that, leave the property i think you have the right to be able to shoot that individual yeah so that's where when i was making the point of cultural differences that's where i would say that it does is specifically applicable because in here it's justifiable force in each situation so sometimes you will be able to kill someone that's why i think that the complexity of moral whatever is entirely skewed by the fact that we're both from entirely different cultures it's the point of that, here that's, okay so that, you, i'm you, just i'm letting you know here it's justifiable force yeah. in each situation whereas where you are it's always no, allowed I, i'm letting you know you're, that's, you're allowed that, to kill that, someone for that's entering that's not your how property. morality works no, 
The, we but, we yeah, can but, argue about the results of our moral statements. That's how we do it. That's what I did with the wheelchair example. When you had made the claim, well, culturally speaking and morally speaking, we would just not protect our uh, property with lethal force. I said bullshit. If some paraplegic person, or say it wouldn't be, you wouldn't be able to do it with paraplegic. But if some person who is like paralyzed from the waist down couldn't fight back against some of these people that were breaking into the store, they have the you know the right to be able to use a weapon to be able to lethally stop these people because the reality otherwise is I can always rob these people and they can never do anything about it. I would just find my local uh, dude who's paralyzed, kick in his fucking door, and take away all of his shit because he wouldn't be able to fight back against me. And that's the reality you'd be setting up and that you'd be making effectively. And so the alternative of somebody getting shot if they were to break into some paralyzed person's property, oh boy, I'm not shaking at that reality. And that's and that's how morality works. It doesn't matter no, that you're from I a different culture. That- we can still no, make no, those that's arguments. what I'm saying is why culturally it's different is that it's situational based though. Because I agree morally that it's morality of the situation depends on the situation is what I'm trying to express of why it's culturally different. Because I'm I'm trying to say that the, the morality of that situation of a guy with a wheelchair where uh you know it's reasonable force and he is scared for his life and also, he's in a wheelchair, so he's at a completely disadvantaged position to begin with um, in the situation. So it is even more understandable in that situation. What I'm saying is that it's then the, the point is that morally, you can always kill someone where you are if they enter your property. Well, I mean, it depends on, I guess, state by state, your laws change all the time, state by state. So I don't really know every state's position on that. But I would say widespread as a whole, I... I well, uh, you you understand the, that all laws in the United States are case by case, right? Yeah, no, no, it, all laws are case laws by case, work. but also no, no, but also you. Uh, uh, what I'm talking about is the reasonable force uh, changes in relation to defending of property in the U.S. versus here, though. What, but what uh, what is reasonable force is that it's lethal force is often reasonable force in the in the U.S. because. If someone is entering your property, you are fe- fearing for your life. Whereas culturally, that's different and not the case here. So well, I, that could I, just have to do simply with the amount of guns that are present in, say, the United yeah, States. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, the gun, the presence of guns, is probably a massive factor. And yeah, I mean, I respect your opinion. Okay, um, so so then my so then what is your argument? I don't think your opinion is necessarily entirely wrong either. Uh, what I was yeah. trying to say was about Carl Carl Rittenhouse was yeah. that um, I disagree with fundamentally a seventeen year old entering that situation. I think that you should have some sort of consequences for entering that rest uh, that okay. situation. I what, also understand your yeah, points what, against. Okay, what specifically would be the the consequences? What specifically would be the consequences, and I for think what you exactly? need some sort of uh, what legal exactly action well? for I don't know reckless endangerment, something. What, that what is the reckless entered. endangerment? What is the reckless um, endangerment? Going to somewhere that isn't your property. I understand that you believe that you should be able to travel somewhere to protect your community, but I think that specifically going out of your way to uh, protect a property that isn't your own. I think that you are then definitely putting yourself in a dangerous situation okay. so and let, the surrounding yeah. context mm-hmm. of the situation adds so, on to it. I so guess legally me, that doesn't so, make a difference. Yeah, so but, like the, when we're talking about laws and shit, like when you're talking about punishments, you just, I would highly recommend you stay away from laws because not only do me and you, yeah. we're not lawyers, but also because like shit gets sticky and the way that you apply yeah. laws, are, a lot of people don't like it because it's going to protect hate speech and shit like that as well. It's going to protect like this person could be protecting a fucking, uh, a clan fucking, uh, building or what have you and you'd still have to advocate that they have the same rights to be able to do that um, uh, which me and you could could argue about or whatever but um, anyway the so if you want to talk about morally so what you're saying is morally he should be impugned correct for going out of his way to like uh, for reckless endangerment when he was protecting somebody else's property is that what you're saying um morally versus legality i guess i guess yes because we don't want to okay yeah i don't know so then, everything surrounding legality so, so i guess morally, morally yeah morally I, I i don't know about the morality though because 
The morality okay. of the situation is entirely co complex and dependent on okay, intentions so that we will never know. If you so don't, like, if, yeah. So if you don't know the morality, whether or not it's morally right or wrong, why are you saying that he shouldn't have done it? What is what are you because appealing I'm saying to specifically when you're saying the there is relevant that he's a 17 year old kid without training but that is not, able to get an yeah. AR if and then go into a situation. Wrong, though, if it's not morally wrong, why shouldn't he have done it? Usually when we use the word should or should not, we're appealing to morality. That's how we use well, language. I, I'm more saying you should have legal consequence for the actions Why? in that situation. Well, because wait, I think that it is reckless endangerment well, to go on. out of your way to so, a different property. Can you tell me, how are, you making the, how are you making the appeal that they illegally shouldn't have done it without a moral statement behind it? What are you appealing to when you're saying it should be illegal, but you also don't know if it's morally bad? Because usually when we make laws, we make laws from things that we consider Based to be morality, morally bad. Yeah. yeah. So but, what um, are you appealing to when you're saying it should be illegal? What system are you appealing to? I'm... I guess... It, it's, it's obviously... I hold a certain bias as you probably hold a certain bias, as people hold a certain bias to their opinions on situations which obviously affect how we view them. But, um... I think everything surrounding the situation needs to be taken into account. I think realistically, the joke being a joke, whatever, is uh, partly should be able to be applicable to the situation. Because I think when you end up in that situation, realistically, uh, th th what you have said recently about similar sort of situations should probably be a bit applicable. Um, even if it's a joke, and I know that's unfortunate if you're just making a joke, but um, I think if you make a joke and then end up in a sort of similar situation, the, um, the applicability of that joke to the situation then becomes quite relevant. And well, I, I even stated, even if we take consider, even if we consider what he said to be entirely truthful, does that affect whether or not morally we would impugn him for even going there in the first place? Well, we might be yes, able to because we, you, but, oh, but you believe that he should be able to protect the property yes, of exactly. someone else because of a community yeah, and member. We were, and we, and we and were I getting don't. to that. So yeah, legally, what are you appealing to? You said it should not be legal. There should be punishments. What are you appealing to? Because you've already said you don't know if it's. I'm morally... appealing to approaching a situation of a protest with a gun. It's all. It's, I'm appealing to everything surrounding the entirety of the situation. Okay, so that's not that how. That's that not how laws should... like work. Right? That's not but, how it but works. But it is well, kind of. Like, if, if, you're if, in a guy, if a guy named Kyle Rittenhouse brings a gun to a place, no, you have to articulate, like, a rule, a moral standard that you are yeah, trying but, to I make mean, an appeal to. Yeah, I mean, obviously, when goes to trial and everything, you try to work out intent of actions and everything. Sure, yeah, intent but, um, matters. So, what I'm saying is the intent of going to that situation, I believe to be wrong and uh not uh morally wrong okay so this is this is the difficulty of discussing morality because i don't believe you should you should enter that situation with a gun and not understand the consequences of the potential of what could happen and i think that that has to be taken into account when you enter the situation therefore i think that if you've taken in that into account and then still entered that in that situation you have done something wrong but you don't believe Wait, that he wh has because, why why because, is there something wrong with going to uh because going there and and then people thinking that you're an active shooter is a likely scenario so like what? i don't think that that's so not a, a so fair that, that's a, so that then, doesn't, that's no moral blame on you you're there yeah, to but protect then that's property. just like doing Do your... something God. doing something regardless of consequences is basically no, no. you're like well well you know legally nothing should go wrong like nothing should go wrong in reality so we're just going to pretend like we live in a perfect world where it's going to run exactly smoothly as it should do which i think is not like it well, we is, take is... precautions is that what you're saying well, I, we also take I think the 17 year old part is entirely relevant like a 17 year old kid okay. taking an so ar then, what, so what is let the me, age let me, where you let can me begin you... to well that's the, yeah that's a question for you you know, that's a, that's genuinely. I don't think it was smart what he did, but I think he has the right to be able to do it, right? Um, so, so it, what is it, seventeen or sixteen? I think it was seventeen. He, I think it was seventeen. Okay, it, so but, is it is seventeen is the age that you're allowed to start? 
Kyrie well, Moore. Al- allowed to, you legally? I don't. I don't know yeah. specifically. I. I have no idea. I, I'm not. Again, I don't okay. know the law specifically around it. Right. I'm waiting for the appeal to like other people. All right, or, or what have you. Right. I would. I would agree that we shouldn't be morally uh, uh, doing these. Or, or I sh- agree that uh, morality can be tough. But when we're talking about what laws should and shouldn't exist, we need to talk about morality. So let me give you a, a separate example, right? Let's assume that uh, Kyle Rittenhouse was going to a business that his family owned, but one of his family members was not able to protect it. And he wanted to be able to protect it, right? And that's how the situation went. He went there for that. Everything else was the same. Would you say that he was, he's still morally impunable for that? Uh, he's still morally impunable for going to a situation. Yeah, well, I think so because of the whole surrounding situation of him being 17 and then going and picking up a assault rifle. Like, I, I think that the specifics of the situation is what makes it more Well, that's what I'm, tr- that's because what I'm trying that, to you know, A 17-year-old is never oh. going to be able to deal with that situation. Uh, uh, realistically, like what 17-year-old okay. is ever going to be able to deal okay, with that so situation? Okay, so this is what I'm trying to get to the bottom of. Let's say I have a family member, all right? They're not physically capable. They're not able-bodied to be able to defend their property. We know that there's rioting going on in the area. I go over to try and defend their property. Would you then say that that's, like, morally okay to be able to do, even though I'm 17? Or would you say that, like, we just, whatever. You go over to your family's, um, so you're saying you go over to your family's business to protect it from... Uh, from, situation from looters yeah you still shouldn't do that as a 17 year old uh well, with a, an assault rifle in my opinion okay with no so, training okay so well well hold on with no well, training, I mean, so the training, the training relevant, relevant? as we say yeah okay. no no the all training right. wasn't relevant we okay. got yeah all right so but, no I, matter I guess no I'm... matter whether no matter whether or not like this will sink my family into impo- into poverty let's assume that scenario as well no, I understand the humanity of it, but I also think that you shouldn't do it in the same way that I understand well, I'm, I'm the just humanity. Asking, that's yeah. in the, I'm, so, I so understand is your the answer, humanity is, of... Yeah, I'm not asking for a huge... Bill. Is, is the answer no? Even if it'll sink us into poverty, the answer would be no. You yeah. can't do that. Okay. Yeah, so I, don't I, think you should. I think we're getting to a just... Now we are finally at like a mor- moral disagreement, a moral impasse, right? I think that if you have something that is your livelihood and you are the only person that is capable of being able to defend it, you have the right to be able to do so. If if you believe that your personal property is 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 at like a cost, because otherwise, again, what we would do is then we'd just say able-bodied people or non-able-bodied people, right? All I got to do is wait until they're not home and then like I can just steal all their fucking shit. And it doesn't matter because if everybody below, if there's anybody in the house below 18, they're not allowed to shoot me morally without you saying that they're a piece of shit. So like if, if, or sorry, excuse me, not a piece of shit. They're morally in the wrong, right? So if there's like a 16, 17 year old kid inside of a house that's scared or whatever, or inside of a place of business, let's say they're stocking the shelves and they're scared or whatever. And their family told them the guns underneath the, the, the fucking counter i break in i start stealing all that sh- that shit you have to look that kid I- in the eye or, or or sorry not look the kid in the eye but in the post match you would have to look at the kid's actions and say that kid would be morally reprehensible or morally co- uh, condemnable if they were to take that firearm and defend their a uh, store that's what yeah, you would say because i well i don't think a 17 year old should be picking up a gun to defend any sort of situation i don't think they you're should have to yeah i don't think they should yeah, have you're to. a kid and i think that you, you should be accountable if you decide to enter that situation okay, so then, with the I things ask, that could go wrong mm-hmm, like can is I, what can i'm trying I, to can is i then what ask the you a, what i'm trying to say can i ask you then as a separate question what about if they're um trying to actively like set fire to the place like trying to cause arson but do you think yeah, it is you it different still shouldn't kill okay. them. What, 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 about assault, what about if somebody's physically assault what about if somebody's physically assaulting your parent? Then are you allowed to be able to pick up the gun and kill them? I mean, allowed, I think is morally morally, fi- morally yeah, morally yes. You Okay, so can. you you just like draw the I line would at... obviously defend my family members. Sure. But like the point but, is but, that I'm, it's I'm not talking about below like, eighteen though. Below eighteen. Sixteen year old, sixteen year old kid. Are they morally allowed to pick up a gun and kill somebody if they? Well, I think that's that's a very complex situation. You're defending your family. I would definitely support them doing that. Okay, so you draw. So again, we're just getting into moral differences here. I would hope 
that this would never have to happen that a, a kid might have to pick up a gun to be able to defend no, somebody's property i would hope that that would ha might not have to happen but inside of certain circumstances you want to there is in if we're being realistic you don't want to wait and find out right you don't want to wait to find out that maybe they are going to assault you if they get near you who knows what they're going to do if they find you and things like this the reality just might be the case that you might have to use that weapon in that circumstance that your your family's uh, future might be at that stake that can... go ahead no, sorry keep going sorry i thought you were done no no, 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 no i'm done what's up all oh, right so um but then do you not think that that exact same line of reasoning can be applied the other way around of you're not going to wait for a guy to start shooting someone. So you're going to go to try and take him down in, in a crack. In no, a no, no, because they're, act they're actively assailing your property inside of this, this circumstance, right? That's what the, they're actively doing. Yeah, so I guess as, that is, that yeah, is different. Yeah. In comparison to they haven't done anything yet. So that's that's my big thing. They have actively the said, of... disregarded your right, your autonomy, your personal property, the things that your labor has produced. They're saying, fuck it. I don't care. I'm going to take it from you by physical force. And I don't think you have to have moral consideration but, for that person. But what's the, the line of... I think that you... Uh, you are accountable, though, then, if something goes wrong, is what I'm saying. I'm saying if there's already... If he was in the situation where um, he went to defend property, he ended up defending property uh, in a certain way. Uh, I, like, it, it's, such, it's much more of a complex situation because he went into a protest area with an assault rifle um, with the claimed intent of defending property in one of the emotion, most emotionally charged times well, that, that the would US be, has that gone would... through in recent history, so, and mm -hmm. then also, uh, like I think all the factors involved in it are why um, it's morally he should never have just got involved because um, you're going you're going then with uh, the assumption and the potential. We we said we've said all of this already. Basically, I don't want to keep going repeating myself to be honest, but. Um, Yep. I, so yeah, I, I mean, I, I, we're we're at a moral impasse. We finally yeah. w actually went up to the moral impasse. I believe that the reality that enables people, because I would agree that they probably shouldn't. It's not a smart idea for like a sixteen-year-old or seventeen-year-old to defend um, uh, their family's property if their parents are not able or incapacitated or otherwise. Like, let's say, for instance, that. Um, oh, can I give you another example? What if somebody knocked out your parents? You come downstairs. Somebody's knocked out your parents, and they're stealing all of the stuff. Then could you kill them? Because could they physically, yeah. Could you um, kill them, or do you have to like just let them take the stuff? I don't. I don't, I don't know. It's such a weird, complex situation for but me yeah, to think so, of. If I was in mm -hmm. that situation, um, my actions might not represent what I think. But I also then don't think that just because the way I, it's a certain level of hypocrisy. Because reality is, for example, if someone killed one of my siblings, mm -hmm. uh. Even if they weren't in the property anymore, I would probably chase after that person and kill them. Right? Realistically, that that you would that's chase just them. after them. Like I, I think the reality of a situation where one of your siblings or someone you love is killed, there's the potential. Not I'm going to chase after them. I'm saying there's the potential of emotions overwhelming you in a situation, and then you end up doing something that doesn't align with your actual moral compass. But I'm saying that that then doesn't mean that it entirely invalidates what you should do in these situations. And I think what you should do is well, not I don't, kill that I don't person. think we should impugn people, like in the Rittenhouse case, I don't impugn Kyle Rittenhouse for somebody else's unreasonable and unwarranted response to what Kyle is doing. Kyle was open carrying a weapon. And I agree that there might be some people that have an unreasonable and we already agree unjustified response to try and uh, de neutralize that target. What you should do is run away if you believe these. It is an unjustified position for, the ha for them to have. I can recognize that he can do that. And I do not blame the person who who is actively uh participating in action that could that could result in that thing well i agree that no, we should be hesitant to be able to right so that's that's I understand my main your thought point. process but i guess we just we just entirely disagree with that so i i i understand why you would believe the things you believe as well and i think that, that it's not necessarily wrong either but i just 
don't personally align with the same beliefs so, so i think as... so if you if so then can i ask if you believe that we should be able to be morally impunable for people's responses to our actions if they are unjustified can you tell me like where that ends so like for instance let's say that i am somebody who um i don't know let's say that i am somebody who has uh, a, a racist father Right. And um, I actively date somebody who uh, a group of people like, let's say, a race of people that I know my father hates. Right. Or what have you. Yeah. Am I morally responsible if my father has an unreasonable reaction and kills that person? So, sorry, you um like what what your father what, hates. Yeah, wait, hates. wait, your father let's hates. Say, let's, sorry, yeah, repeat, let's say my father hates stuff. Asian people. I date yeah. an Asian person. Then my father says, "I'm gonna kill that person," and kills that person, or what have you. Um, or like we can we can dial it back even. Let's say that like, am I responsible for that person's for that person uh, experiencing racism? So like, I'm dating some Asian person. My father hates Asian pre people, and my father is racist towards that Asian person. Am I responsible for my father's unjustified? actions towards that asian person yeah i i don't think you are and then you're gonna say that it's um well i'm, I'm just gonna ask related why. because obviously we're saying well i'm just gonna ask it's why. unreasonable responses to him having a gun out and whatever yeah, so i'm gonna ask uh, why, but, why uh, is that the case well yeah but it's gonna be the logic that perfectly feeds into what you want me to say but it, well, i think so then more... shouldn't you engage with it and and wait isn't this like a, no, no, a but then, flag what... chat isn't this the uh, non-binary flag? Keep going. Um, but then what um, I'm trying to say is that... Uh, oh, no, it isn't. When the intentions of... It's close. So, I, I just think the intention of going to a situation with a gun in the first place is wrong and you don't so this is where this well no 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 you you still have to you st just engage with the the going idea to, not going to right? a place even going to this situation with a gun and then not ex well, just uh, going to a situation with a gun and not e expecting to be able to de-escalate a situation well, as a again, 17 no, the, the problem with an assault is... rifle is solely what i disagree with in this situation and that's like the entire crux of the point i understand afterwards do you the see what i mean chat aspect, but I think that you are like I. I it's close. If anyone admit, thinks that I'm close. trying to say that he didn't kill people in self-defense, he did. No, but my, I'm my, that that's no, not, because you're um, you're saying he's morally impunable for being able to bring that gun but, into that situation because other people might have an unreasonable response. Well, and my but argument, no, it's not necessarily that either, though. It's not just that. It's everything combined with uh, his him talking about wanting to shoot. Uh, those shoplifters wanting to shoot shoplifters or whatever two days before him um his no, no, idea no, no, no. of so the situation I, I, he was taking, entering i'm taking it point his by idea point. of the I, situation so i'm i'm taking it point by point obviously i can't argue against all of your points entirely at simultaneously that's not how speech works i can't i can't invoke multiple sentences simultaneously i so this is why i'm arguing against your point that you said that he should he can be morally impunable Right, that he yeah. can be morally impunable for um, specific. Oh, this is crazy that this place exists. That's a wild looking place. Um, that he could be morally impunable for somebody's unjustified response to something. So I give yeah. you the example, and can you can you just answer it for me specifically? Of the Asian me dating an Asian person when my father is racist and my father calling them racial slurs. Am I morally impunable for that action because my father has an unjustified response? But I don't think that it's an unjustified response entirely, though, in the other situation, not in the in well, your situation. Wait, it's, we, we've, it's already, an entirely we've already established that it's an. What I mean by unjustified no, no, is but, not a moral, not something that we ought do, not morally yeah, right. not, not ought, something that you ought to do, but also it's understanding. The, I think that when you enter that situation, you can un you have to understand that that's uh, a possibility that people are going to think you're an active shooter. And you got to understand that when you date an Asian person, when your father's racist, he's probably going to say some racial slurs, right? Yeah, but I don't think that's the, that's the same, though. Okay, what's uh, the difference? I think that you like, think that that's the, the same. No, no, no. Okay, I, so I'm like... saying the difference is you're going mm -hmm. out of your way to be in a situation to protect property that isn't yours because you're trying to help the community, right? And I think that then the, knowing the, the emotionally situation. charged state of the world and everything else 
And uh, I think that this is and then in the other situation, going you're going out of your, you're, you're just going out of your way to be able to, to like yeah, it's go, it's going on for a long time because every time I try and ask a question, I have to go have like a a budding match to be able to just get it through right. So in the in the other scenario, you're just trying to date somebody. That's all you're trying to do, right? You're trying to date somebody, and then. You know, your father happens to be racist. You don't have to date anybody, just like Kyle Rittenhouse didn't have to go there, right? So, just engage yeah, with the hypothetical. but you're saying that dating someone is the same as going to a no, place what with I'm an saying, AR no. at 17 so, years old, so comparable. So, I have, I have to now explain what analogies are. Analogies don't have okay. to be exactly the right. same. They can be similar with all of the points of contention matching. That's what an analogy is. And then you have to then engage with The problem with, with a lot of this discussion is you're coming at it with a lot of condescension. I completely understand okay, so your opinion on things. Then I also think that it. you. But I also think that there has to be a certain level of respect to my own opinions that you just absolutely well, are the not prob having. The problem um, is you're not that's, actually... That's often the problem with these sort of discussions is like when you're on Twitch and there are all these chats and everyone's sort of like highly emotionally charged on their response that they can't... Because I, I, my opinion is always I'm ready to listen to others' opinions and change my own opinions on things. My opinion on this, I'm not changing currently because I disagree fundamentally in certain moral senses. But, um, well, that's what I'm trying I, to get I, down I, to I, is I the fundamental we... disagreements. You had made a statement and I'm, I'm asking you to back it up because I, re I don't, I reject the idea that I can do a justified action, right? And because I'm doing a justified well, action, somebody is a justified action. I think dating an Asian is something, an Asian person is something that should be entirely acceptable in society. I don't think going to a protest zone with a gun is something that should be done. Therefore, the, one of the things I think should be fine. One of the things I, th one of the things well, I think should early, be fine. Earlier, they don't, they already, don't contradict early, each other. Earlier, we've already established that that isn't the case. That you said that you can do it if you're at least above the age of eighteen or at the age of eighteen. What? Correct. Oh wait, no, do, oh, I, wait. I said so that... then, hold on, hold on. Can I not protect my family's property then? Let's well, say I'm this, 25 years old. That was the point that we went the whole way through. No, we no, said okay. about I think, no, I think the authority a... should be doing it. So that is what I've said the whole time. Oh, so wait, wait, I feel like wait, wait. no, 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 but no, because earlier you talked about the person who is uh, in a wheelchair and how they can kill people. So you didn't say I that didn't the authority say they can kill people. It's understandable of the situation. I said that realistically, you so should wait, never then have you would to be morally in... impugn the person that's doing it. Oh, no, I wouldn't morally impugn the person who's in a wheelchair who kills someone for stealing from them when they're in their property. But I would morally impugn someone who goes. I, the thing is, we're making the comparisons that I don't feel are the same, and you do feel are the same. So, so you agree that somebody in a wheelchair can defend their property morally with lethal force? I don't think that. So, what? What? We we've already said this already. We've already gone through this. Can you just answer yes we, or no? Yeah, circling. sure. We could we could be done with it after this. Did you? Could you just answer yes or no? Do I think that morally someone in I think that it's more complex than morally right or wrong as okay. I said the well, whole time. Well, no, that's what I think well, everyone okay. wants. What is, like a, can I can you answer me this question? What are you appealing to besides morality to make these decisions? I think it's decisions? morally gray. Well, like it's morally gray. It doesn't what, necessarily So what are you what are you appealing to when you're making these questions or when you're answering these things? When I'm answering these questions is I think realistically with each situation it should be case by case and i don't think that that situation is what comparable i'm asking to is what, going what, to a protest what system with a gun. if not morality are you appealing to because you're saying I, I don't i think it's wrong or i don't think it's right to be able to kill people when they uh steal from you but when i'm making an argument that is tough to deal with when it comes to somebody in a wheelchair and possibly having to kill somebody you say well i don't know about it whether or not it's morally right because or wrong. So my what are you stance appealing is to? default wrong because that's how why? you make laws wait but why well, def the default wrong doesn't mean that you Wait, then also, don't take into account each you, situation you, you and know, understand. You know, you know, no, legally, I know. I, I realized as soon as I said that that yeah, I was okay. wrong. Okay, I, I apologize. But what I'm saying is, I, I don't understand why you have to make me say that it 
is because, always morally wrong based on it, this one scenario because well, no, i think that, just, that scenario you know, is more understandable because you take it case by case no, and see what happens each scenario no the what reason is, the reason why is because you should be able to have a moral answer for these uh these situations occurring and if you do not you can just ask me for further clarification to make it more morally reasonable or you can simply say i just haven't thought about it enough but if you haven't I thought about really... these situations enough right or what have you i would just ask why you're so incredibly uh, uh lumbastic or, or incredibly heated about a topic that you haven't engaged with literally like the starting I don't think we're that heated I Sorry, don't think I'm he, that heated. heated heated to the point where in which I you'd engage inside a... of a twitch chat and you would engage inside of a twitch chat and disagreements inside of a uh, twitch chat right like I don't know why you have a strong opinion maybe I should put it that way you have a strong opinion on this to the point where I you're having debate I it's necessarily a strong opinion to engage in a Twitch chat either. Though. Didn't you just say you had a fundamental, you said it was fundamental that you disagree with this and you, you're you also simultaneously what? saying, you said you fundamentally no, disagree no, I'm with saying, it. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I may have strong opinions, but I'm saying it necessarily yeah, involving you, yourself through a Twitch chat doesn't mean that you wait, have wait, to have a strong uh, opinion. Okay, so I'm inductively reasoning that you have a strong opinion. So, if you have a strong opinion, but you can't answer me the simple moral questions about, like, foundationally, why we might have the right to be able to use lethal force to defend our property, do you I've see already, what, like, We've the already issue gone is? through all of this, like, we everyone can go watch you, all you, of this back. We've mm. gone through why I disagree, like, I disagree that you should morally be able to defend your property with lethal force that's what i disagree with i've said why i've said my my belief of why well no you you human don't even, we, you, you you don't even believe that because again we bring up the example of people yes, who are but not then physically I think it's capable. more complex of each situation you want me to only only think one way about the world for no, some reason I when i'm no, not I want to take each I'm situation asking, into account no, it's because earlier and the right just a second ago you said i am fundamentally against the idea of being able to kill people for uh in defense of property which we've already proven to not be true you are lying because the moment i enter oh a God. scenario so we're, where we're, in we're which getting... it is difficult for you to be able to deal with the fact that somebody might have to do that you say well it's not morally wrong it's a moral gray area so it's so not we're talking always, about so whether moral... i was lying about something from the beginning no, even now right, right now, i said even something right now, wrong just a second ago what? you said that you fundamentally disagree with the idea that you should be able to kill people for in uh, to be able to defend property but when i give you an example where in which somebody's not physically able to defend their property the uh, from somebody uh, because assailing i them. think that it's more complex i think that fundamentally well i'm saying at a baseline at a baseline i would say the, the majority of the situations you find i can lay it out in better words because evidently my wording okay. is so okay. poor Okay. Uh, I'm like, just I'm letting I'm you know why we why I'm we saying went that down I'm I'm saying that my baseline is that you shouldn't kill people. I am then open to the fact that this guy in a wheelchair who's defending his property who is fearing for his life i'm open to the fact that that person can then kill someone i don't understand like what the point of this the, part the, of the, whole, conversation the whole point really of, is. the whole point of it would be to illustrate that one, your initial statement was not actually what you believe, and two, to open you up to new realities that exist, because when ass meets grass, there are a lot of people who rely on small businesses or their place of employment to not be robbed or looted relentlessly to be able to continue said employment and to be able to actually have a livelihood in our society. Maybe this is it going to be as big of an issue inside of the area that you live in or in your personal experience or personal life but like there are a lot of people that require these systems to be able to keep going otherwise they will become broke and destitute and in some cases homeless or impoverished and so but like why is that relating to this original situation we've gone off on an entire tangent because based on you, me I, saying i, I never, fundamentally I would, disagree with with uh, uh based on me <laughs> saying talking about uh i fundamentally disagree with uh defending property to the extent that you kill someone and then we've gone on a tangent because about because i would fact. never be able to convince you that kyle rittenhouse could have been at a place defending property if you fundamentally disagree with the idea that you can defend property with a gun right i would never okay, be able to convince you even if i don't that. fundamentally 
yeah. uh, disagree with that. I disagree with that in the, that situation is what I'm saying. So, I, but, so you, the, hold the, on. The situation... you, under, you understand that if you fundamentally, if you actually truly believe, which you don't, if you actually fundamentally oh. believed that you can never defend property with a gun, then the whole point of trying to even exhaust the energy to be able to examine Kyle Rittenhouse specifically and be able to make that argument would not make sense. That's the point. It's like somebody, me trying to to convince somebody that the color red is awesome but if they fundamentally believe that colors are all trash there's no point trying to convince them that the color red is awesome do you understand what i'm saying yeah so you're saying because of my use of the word fundamental uh it's necessary like you can't then convince me of why it's Ex acceptable exactly but, um, so i need to start at a uh, at the root cause because we would have talked for nine hours about kyle rittenhouse specifically only to work our way back to oh well the whole time you had a fundamental disagreement with whether or not you have the right to be able to defend property with a weapon if you actually truly did believe that you fundamentally could never do that but it seems like you are open to the idea that it isn't a fundamental issue but rather an issue of a baseline which is by default you do not like that idea however there might be circumstances where in which it might be necessary which is different right so but if you actually did fundamentally believe that then there would be no point in having the conversation in the first place okay so yeah i, I we established that i was wrong in saying fundamental then great yeah, sure. uh, I well, no, apologize. I mean, and the reason the reason why this sounds so ridiculous is because it took this long for you to answer uh, just a couple hypotheticals to get you well, down guess to I be was, able to do that. I guess it was just misunderstanding of what the conversation was then. But what I'm saying is that that doesn't remove from the point of why I disagree with Carl Rittenhouse going into the situation. I, I feel like we went off on a whole tangent about no, semantics it absolutely, no it's, it's absolutely okay so now you're gonna call it it's not semantics i need to explain this again yeah but right, it's so i understand why oh my god it's semantics because obviously i was baseline obviously I, I hyperbolized and i said fundamental great i made a mistake but when i said fundamental and then we misunderstood each other to the extent that we ended up talking about this whole other issue. Well, no, it wasn't but, just uh, what, what we've dissected. It. It's not just a simple misunderstanding. Obviously, I meant baseline then. I, I chose my words poorly. I'm not a perfect human being. Well, I'm even sorry. Still, even Everyone's still, we tried to fucking, get... This, this, firstly, this fucking community is entirely toxic. But um, uh, what, yeah, I welcome don't to understand... Twitch. What... Welcome to Twitch. Yeah, you, no, no, like, I know, that's but the I don't understand why you've got mods being, being that toxic about it. But whatever. Welcome to um, Twitch. Welcome to Twitch. Welcome to Twitch. Yeah. Like I that's should. the way that, that's the way that it works. I'm sorry, that's the way that it works. I don't think that you're toxic either. I'm not saying okay. that. Okay, all right. Um, but that's that's literally how. Like I could show you logs of uh, mods from Assange's community, Vosh's community, especially Vosh's fucking community that look horrendous. All right, I could show you some fucking horrific logs from all of these political streamers shit. Right. So yeah. No, no, it's fair. Um, I. Yeah, I disagree with the situation. You agree. This is... Well, no, the, where we got to a fundamental what... disagreement was on specific shit. And that's where we had real real headway there. We have a fundamental disagreement that the realities that uh, and the problems that come as a result of um, um, not being able to defend your property and what have you, that you are okay with those results happening. I'm personally not okay with like people being able to steal your stuff and you just having to not be able to do anything about it if you have a gun. I, I think that is, uh, that is a... a inferior reality to me being able to use lethal force on somebody who is stealing my property of course with the caveat that i try to de-escalate um su uh, many situations and again not all like in the case of them having a lethal weapon within range whatever right that um in that case like i don't think you have a moral obligation to yell hey stop when they have a gun inside of your house and shit like that because that could be the difference between you living and dying um but anyway the like I, I could agree with that, but I think that reality keeps more people being able to keep their livelihood that they've fought for and that they've, whatever, for, like whatever livelihood they want to be able to make in comparison to a, a reality where they can't defend that property with lethal force and they have to let that happen, right? I, I think that that's just the reality because I don't want a world where in which like some six foot four dude who's built like a fridge can kick in some chick's door and just take all of her shit. And because she doesn't, she she can't use like a gun to be able to do it. Like it's just fucked. Like she's just completely fucked. 
Yeah, like, but they're, they're, that's just where I would go back to the point of... Um... Oh, God, I can't be asked. Well, I mean, you know, you, you agree that the woman shouldn't shoot him and kill him, right? Um... I thought that's I agree where we that were the at. Woman sh shouldn't shoot him and kill him. Yeah. No, okay. No, so yeah, there you go. I, there you go. That's just the fun. We're we're at a fundamental disagreement about the defense of property. Yeah. That's that's where it is. So we have made headway. It's not just semantics this entire time. We have actually gotten down to a a, a root issue and a problem because again. If you believe that, like, the only circumstance, because at this point, it seems like you're open to the idea that maybe somebody who's, like, paralyzed and has nobody else in there, I don't know why you would draw the line at paralyzed versus able-bodied relative to the assailant, but, if like, I don't want to get super heavy into that because this is getting exhausting. Uh, it sounds like I'm oh, both No, no, one second, though. Tom is strong, mate. What is this? I hope I never see you in my entire life. Uh, you bitch boy, mate! I'll fucking batter you if I see you in real life. Shut in a your video fucking game. In a video game. You little in a video game. Hold you talk on, about hold fucking. On. Dial it down. You just in a video you just, game. Sorry. You just, yeah. In a video you game. just in a video you game. just went off about talking about how toxic my chat is, and you just yeah, like, I you, know. But you if make I'm gonna be toxic. Of, you, I'm gonna be toxic. Make... Back. No, there's, there's a difference between back. there's a difference between being toxic and making a threat, man. Well, he's making a threat to me. It's any hope he never sees me in his entire life. You bitch boy, privileged baby from the south of England. Wait, do you? Do you, that, do you think that means that he's going to assault? Did you think that he, he that means he's going to assault you? Well, usually, if someone says they don't want to see someone in their life, that that that's what that means. Um, okay. I hate right. minorities. So, I sure. am a minority. Uh, do, where, can I, I can get a camera up if you want, but uh, wh whatever. Well, um, well, I mean, you don't you don't have. I mean, you can still be a minority and hate minorities. Just to be clear. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's fair. But yeah. But anyway, my Discord, not yours. Um, no, we're, we're not doing this. Um, okay, so yeah, it's just a, it, we're just at a, a fundamental impasse. We got to it, right? We got to the, the, the problem that we have, right? Is that if you believe the criteria for you to be able to use physical weapons, or like, okay, then, sorry, just one question. Why is it that somebody in a wheelchair might be able to use a weapon, but somebody who is like physically super, like, let's say malnourished and incapable of being able to defend themselves can't? What, what's the difference between somebody in a wheelchair using a gun having the possibility because you said there was a possibility they might be able to use a gun why is there a possibility for them but not a possibility for somebody who's like malnourished and like incapable of physically fighting or anything like that i don't really understand um you're saying so someone i'm sorry i'm really you, you said earlier sorry you said i'm really struggling to think properly mm -hmm. anymore because this uh, okay, has yeah, been if, if much you, longer I mean, than if, if you want to end it we I can but i would just have the, you this examine has been much longer than i sure. expected it to be i, I would just but, have um, you i would just have you examine why is it that somebody in a wheelchair is capable in in some reality of being able to use lethal force against somebody who comes into the thing you said it's a moral gray area you don't know right if that's a moral mm. why is that a moral gray area but let's say a woman who's like five two who weighs a hundred pounds soaking wet that like probably isn't going to assail this six four dude who probably weighs 270 280 right this guy why is it that like you know she can't use a firearm against that dude but the person in the wheelchair can what makes the person in the wheelchair uniquely able to use a lethal firearm in comparison to the woman uh, in comparison to a malnourished woman, um, yeah, 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 I don't think that the person in the wheelchair should use the firearm. But wait, I understand I, I, it. Is what I, I was trying to say. I thought you said it was a moral gray area. That no, it's a moral gray area because I understand why you do be in that situation, but I also don't think that you should do it. Is what I was saying. Okay, so that's not what a moral. Gray area. That's not what a moral gray area means. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay right, moral gray sorry, area because uh, I don't think you should kill someone, but I understand is what I'm saying. So it's, that's why it's a moral gray area, because I don't think you should uh, kill someone entering your property, but I understand why you would because of it affecting your whole livelihood. Okay, so just letting you know for future conversations is not what a moral gray area means. Morality no, that is what a moral gray, moral gray area I'm talking about is the fact that I don't think that you should do it at a baseline. Okay, so morally, the stance starts out morally wrong. But then I understand why someone would do it. So it goes into a moral gray area because I understand no, so why, th based th on the situation, so that's, you would do that's it. not how it works, right? It's, it's that if you have a specific scenario that you believe, right? So in reference to uh, uh, like um, 
uh, uh, this specific example with somebody who cannot walk or whatever, um, who's physically unable to defend their property, right? A moral gray yeah. area would be one where you don't believe that, like, you don't really know whether or not they could morally do it or not do it. Like, you're not sure, you're uncertain, you haven't considered the full ramifications, or that you believe that, like, it could just simply be a toss-up due to the reality of the situation, and you might need more details. That would be a moral gray area. A moral gray area that you're appealing to in reference to this, though, is that you believe that, like, there is a baseline that and that it's it's you could see somebody justifying this action the justification for the action is either morally justified or not morally justified meaning that it is it is either permissible or not permissible so you either believe that somebody who is in a wheelchair can morally take action against this person or not your moral baseline doesn't have anything to do with it for instance my moral baseline should be that we shouldn't yell bomb in a public area right we shouldn't do that shit however if you are a police officer and you believe there is a bomb in a public area and you believe that it could i mean i would doubt it would maybe help but may, i could see a scenario where in which saying that and trying to escort people out of the area could be justified and by justified i mean morally good or morally acceptable right or yeah. you could use the term perhaps morally neutral which is like you believe that it doesn't have a moral status until uh, like at all because it's like a, neither a good thing nor a bad thing it doesn't really um, impact what you believe to be um, your ultimate goal for like society or societal change it doesn't influence that at all you could use the term morally neutral uh, is another term but moral gray area is usually reserved for things that you don't understand but yeah Anyway, yeah, buddy. Okay. All right. Take care. All right. There you go. All right. I'll talk to you later, buddy. All right. Bye. All right. See okay. you. Yeah, bye. bye.